Hey guys, Star Red Five, and today I'm going to come with you with the Madden 15 wish list. First off, I want to set, tell my friend, fans that it's been a few months since I've made a video that's obvious, but I just kind of got caught up in playing on PlayStation, just doing all sorts of other stuff, so sorry about that. But I am back and I will be making videos a little bit more often before. So yeah, I felt like doing a Madden 15 wish list because, um, I know it's kind of too early, but I want to get the word out. I want to get this message spread out to EA, and hopefully it's either somebody who knows somebody from EA or somebody who works at EA, or maybe just somebody who wants to share this video. Um, who can will be looking at this video because I want EA to make some huge improvements to the game this year. Because while Man 25 is a huge step forward, I feel like a lot of the stuff they added was either uh, not that important or they didn't. It wasn't you know, as good as they promised it would, or they just didn't include me, or just wasn't something new, something old, like, uh, owner load, that was from, what, Man 05? So yeah, the Man 15 wish list does not include any gameplay, uh, anything that they can add to the game gameplay-wise, because, to be honest, I really don't want to say anything that I'm not sure about, that I don't know about, because I don't know much about, uh, I'm not sure, I don't know much that they could add to gameplay, and no gameplay is not the best, and there are certainly some things that they can improve, but uh, I can leave that up to the other people who make wish lists, because I'm not sure, I really don't know about gameplay, but let's get started, so first we're going to start with main features that they can add, now I feel like this is something that's definitely missing from from the game, and that's a draft presentation. Uh, I mean, come on guys, this is the NFL, and it's not like EA has anybody to compete with, this is the only football game, so knowing that the NFL draft is a huge part to of the um, NFL every year, why wouldn't they add a presentation to it? Now, they have done a great job by adding Adam Schefter and whoever the other guy is doing the presentation, but I really feel that... We should be able to see Roger Goodell, or at least hear Roger Goodell, like we were on the old games, announce who uh, a team has selected, and hear the crowd's reactions based on whether they feel it was a good player or a bad player, um, or a good selection or a bad selection. Or we should be able to, instead of just hear it, we should be able to see um, Roger Goodell walking up to the podium. I really want that to be a feature in the game, and like I said, they don't have to show him. They can we can just hear him announce. And like I remember on I think on Madden 11 on the PS2. Yes, on the PS2 they had the you had the option to hear uh, the fans' reactions to who you select. And yeah, I mean, why is it that we had that on the PS2, especially knowing when the PS2 like, it's not like this was a Man 06 version or Man 05 version. This was Man 11 when pretty much the PS2, nobody really played the uh, uh, sports games on there anymore. So, why is it that we they put so much work into the older games, but not the newer ones? So, yeah, I had a draft presentation. That goes for owner mode, player mode, and coach mode. I'm not just talking about player mode. And yeah, speaking of which, here we go next. Connected franchise uh, player mode. I think we should be able to experience everything that is every, uh, we should be able to experience just how, uh, we should be able to know just how an NFL player's life is. So that means we should be able to go to the combine and interview with GMs or just interview with reporters who are trying to test your personality. Uh, that's a really big part to a college player uh, trick going into the NFL. Teams want to find out what kind of type of person this guy is. I did notice that when you're scouting for players, you get to you get to scout their personality as well on Man 25. So if we are able to scout the player's personality when we're playing when we're doing a player connected franchise. We should be able to uh, have people test our personalities through interviews. We should also be able to, like I said, go. We should be able to go to the draft. Um, and we should be able to hire our own agent and buy items such as purchase our own mansion, our own apartment, 
buy our own car. You know, if it, even if it doesn't have us, like, driving around in the car, we can just buy our own car just to know that we have one. And this may sound sort of crazy or out of this world, but this is it's really just what being an NFL player is about. Why don't we have the ability to use the money that we earn uh, to buy certain things? The next is pregame picks, halftime shows, after-game interviews, or weekly wrap-up shows. We should be able to... Uh, see Jim and Nance or whoever else uh, pick which team they believe is going to win the game uh, before the game, and we should also have halftime shows. Now, this is one thing that really irritates me. NBA Live 2000, 2014 came out this year, and it really sucked. But anyway, they added a four-minute halftime show to that game. Now, I ask you this. Why is it that they add a four-minute halftime show to NBA Live 14, which really hasn't been around for a couple years, why is it that they added a halftime show on its first year back to that, but we don't get a halftime show on Madden for like, what, 13 years? I mean, they could have done this stuff long ago. This is stuff that 2K had. We should also be able to see, um, we should also be able to, if you're a coach playing a connected franchise, you should be able to be asked questions by the um, media after games. This is becoming a huge part of the NFL. Lots of coaches are, you know, starting to answer a lot of questions. I know this is something they've been doing for years and years. And now it's, I mean, I don't know. It's like media is really starting to cover it now more often. It's becoming a bigger part of the NFL just like it is in the NBA. So we should be able to have after game interviews or weekly wrap up shows. Just like 2K had with uh, their sports center every week, we should be able to hear about one, injuries, two, we should be able to see some highlights, and we should be able to hear, uh, we should be able to hear about the upcoming games for the next week. Next, I have a radio show. There should be a radio show just like back in 1905. I thought this was a great idea. The only problem was the, they ran out of content after just a few years. If they can add enough thing, enough topics to talk about, and maybe spread it out like they do with college football so that, you know, you don't hear about some of the topics until you're, what, maybe 10 years into your franchise. So that way you could be like, hey, I've never heard them say that before. So, you know, it won't feel like you're just listening to the same thing over and over again. It's really not that hard. All that, all EA has to do is come up with a, maybe a 30, 50 different topics, different things that you can talk about on the radio show. Spread out within the what I think 30 years of connected franchise, however long it lasts. Next, there should be two to three broadcast stations and commentary crews, even if they are fake. And what I mean by this is, uh, EA has really gone for like the CBS look over the past few years. Something about CBS I don't like, but maybe this year they can have several broadcast stations so. The uh, 1 o'clock games could be, you know, I don't know, Turtle Net, Turtle Network. The 4 o'clock games can be TNN, and the primetime games could be NFL Network. And this is why I'm by even if they're fake. They don't necessarily have to go and say, all right, we'll get NBC and Fox and ESPN. No, they don't have to do that. It can just be some made-up channel, some made-up station. It could be Turtle Network for the early games, TNN for the late games, and NFL Network or something for the late games. I just want to be able to feel like it's not, I mean, really, C CBS doesn't broadcast all the NFL games in real life, so why should, should it be like that in Madden? I mean, somebody who's watching this video right now may find this to be kind of out of this world, but the truth is, all of this stuff is a big part of the NFL, so why is it strange for it to be in a video game that's supposed to be as close to the game as possible? Next, we should, uh, oh yeah, and also there should be several commentary crews, not just Jim or Phil Nance or whatever the names is, I can't really remember that. Uh, last, we should be able to have the owners customize our stadium from the bottom to the top, so choose the turf, be able to choose um, the size of the stadium, what type of video screen this has, uh, can't really think of everything off the top of my head, but it should be deep customization, not just the basic stuff like we had in Madden 12, uh, or Madden 11 when we create our own team, but it should be even deeper than that. We should be able to really design these amazing stadiums that are really starting to come into the NFL now. Um, and here are just some other features. We should be able to create a team in important 
import and import them to connect a franchise mode. Uh, yeah, I really enjoyed um, being able to relocate this year, but I also want to be able to just create my own team uh, from from scratch. We should also be able to when we do relocate a team, we should be able to create the uniforms and name the team instead of having to choose from a set of uh, predetermined um, names and colors and whatnot. You should also be able to design completely new and creative uniforms that can be played with on connected franchise mode and online for all 32 NFL teams, but they must have the team colors or include black, gray, or white colors. So that pretty much means if I'm going to change the jerseys of the Redskins, I can do that. However, the only thing is, I cannot make the Redskins jersey green or something. They have to still be burgundy and gold. Or maybe I could just add black gray or white, you know, just a standard color, like I said, and we should be able to import them into connected franchise mode or go online with them if we want. And finally, create and play. This was a mode back in the older versions of Madden on the PS2. We should be able to create our own plays and run them. I mean, why can't we do that? I mean, why can't we create our own play? So yeah, that's been my wish list. And one more thing I wanted to add was, I did, when I was saying, uh, how we should be able to experience what it, just what it's like to be an NFL player with connected franchise mode. Um, I also forgot to add that this was an idea I had for last year's game that we should be able to start in our final year of college or maybe our junior year and play out the rest of those games when we try and improve our draft stock. The, but I didn't mention that for this year's wish list because obviously it's not going to be in until like book 15. So I'm not sure if that would be something that they would be able to include. They probably wouldn't. So yeah, um, thanks for watching and share this if you can, and you should change Madden, big time.